Hey there, YouTubers. Black Zanny here with another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at a Mars converter. Now, if you don't know what a Mars converter is, well, it's kind of like a transformer. And so here it is so right in front of us. And this one I got is a bulldozer. So uh, why don't we take a good, quick look at the packaging here. So we have a nice box art in the front. Of course, the toy is still inside. I have not opened this yet, so special treat. There is the robot form of the converter. Uh, you got some tech specs on the back. A robot form, its vehicle, bulldozer. And of course, what you can collect from the rest. You got a biomixer, which seems like a cement truck. Spot Explorer, Acceleration, Drifter, and Valve Changer. I do not have any of those, but hopefully when they come around about next year, or when I come across some of them, I might uh, pick them up, so, so to speak. So, moving right along. Uh, transformation, how it folds up. And, of course, back to the front. Uh, nothing much on the bottom except... Uh, for warning labels and of course this is a happy kid product now I've picked this up from my local Walgreens now, they were giving this away at a half price so which was a really nice discount so, so yeah well that's it for the box Let's get on with the pack. Let's open this guy up and get right to it. So here we have our Mars converter outside of its box. And this one goes by the name of Earth Mover. Now there's only one problem that I got with this figure. Is that its joints are flimsy. I mean, seriously, how can you play with something that's designed to be cool and, well, yeah, that just come apart. So, yeah, this is slim, very flimsy for an adult-like action figure. Now, since this was made from the Happy Kid the Toy Company, yeah, this looks like it was made for a child to play with. So, going over this figure... I mean, it does transform into a bulldozer. You can see the front claw. And caterpillars for its wheels. Cockpit up here. All that good stuff. So. Now, there is one thing about this figure that I do like, and that's the way of its colors. I mean... Well, it's not just the colors, but all the detailing that the toy company put into this. Which, I have to say, it is a very, very good. So, a nice a bright yellow just to show of its truck form. So, that's a lot, something to look forward to. And... I'm surprised that the uh, quality of this plastic, um, it is good in a way, but the way the joints are is not so much. I mean, this thing will almost stand up to about anything a child can throw at it. So, so yeah. It's meant basically for those that are five years old or up. Uh, but I would not recommend this uh, to uh, any uh, adults that are going to go after it. But I would recommend it to a kid. Definitely to a kid. So. That's a nice detailing on the chest. Uh. There is one thing I like to point out, and that's with the head. Bring this camera right over. The head, 
almost looks like it is something you will find out of a construction crew. Even though it's a robot. So. You got two little things on top of them. Yeah, you might look like guns. Or shoulder guns, however you want to put it, but it, it, it is a nice touch. But seriously, warning for kids, while you're looking at it, these are just fake. If you go for the real thing, don't. Guns do kill. So, yeah. Go with the pretend stuff, not the, not the real deal. Real guns are bad. And I, of course, any adult who is a parent would agree with me. I myself am not a parent. So, you know, I do think about safety around other people. So, so yeah, this is a really a nice toy. So I think that's just about it. So let's get on with the transformation. Now again, these parts are flimsy, so you're going to have to bear with me. Uh, first off, we're going to deal with the chest. Just bringing that down. Uh, next up, push in the head. That's going to click right in. And then cover it up. Uh, take the shoulder guns and move those right in. And move these uh, back claws Oh, down like so. So there is the back section for the transformation. Now for the next parts, we're going to bring these arms up and extend the arms. And of course this one you can't see almost. Uh, you're going to fold in the hand into that bucket like claw section which if you ask me well they're in still in robot form they almost look like shields continuing on extend yikes again this is flimsy not easy to do and there goes that arm again Oop. Get over here. Fold in the seat. At least the front half. Come over to the back. Uh, this back part may take a while. Next, what we want to do is just fold in the leg, bring it up like so, fold in the caterpillar, uh, vice versa on the other, and there goes the head, good grief. Yeah, this toy is really something. on the other and well it almost looks like a dozer so oh that comes out get back in there so I want to flip these over the caterpillars like so same thing on the other side. Yeah, this is tricky. And, ah, there he goes again. Put camera down just a bit. Put you back on. That, this part is loose and will come off. Seriously, and I just took this out of the box. How flimsy do you need to get? 
Now for the two pieces of these uh, shovel parts, just gonna bring them in like this. Connect both halves. Everything is connected well. And of course you come back off. Good grief. Stay on there. And there he is in vehicle form. So, so this isn't really such a bad uh, conversion for the, its transformation, but there is a big flaw in it. Uh, if you just look down here is where the legs are, uh, you only got one wheel on one caterpillar, and the rest are just molded in. What the heck? Well, I guess it'll be okay if you were a kid and playing indoors. But, as far as collectors go, uh, no, I see... I don't see the point to this. I really don't. If you're going to have something that rolls, then make it roll. I mean no offense to Happy Kids Toy Company, but that's just how I feel. I mean, you've made a really good, a really good toy here in a very good form, but what's the point of having something if it doesn't roll around as much? So, I wonder if the other Mars converters uh, do well besides this. Okay, maybe they ha have a bit of a slim in the uh, joint parts, but, oh yeah, well, I'm not one to complain so much, so. So I won't fire off any shoot-offs, unless I already have. So, so yeah. This really is a nice vehicle form. I mean, it's got the nice bright yellow paint and everything. All the parts where it needs to be. So, so yeah, this is really good. And so, this is Black Xana saying, Tower deactivated. I will see you all until next time. A mass converter, huh? Well, there certainly ain't no Transformers. I wonder if they're Autobots or Decepticons. What do you think, B? Uh, Bumblebee? Where'd you go? Here with him. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I hear if I label those things as Decepticons. <laughs>